Hello, everyone, and welcome to Urban Decay Podcast. This is a podcast where we talk about zombies, we deal with their issues that they're having current in this in a social economic situation. <laughs> we deal with their, their issues. And if you're a zombie and you're listening, you can call us in at 1 800 We Help Zombies, and we'll deal with any issues that you might be having at this time. The marginalized zombies. What just happened? What podcast is this? <laughs> Crap. Wrong one. Welcome back, everybody, to Urban Decay Podcast. <laughs> we don't help zombies, we kill them. We annihilate them. Ooh. And sometimes they, they kill annihilate us. us. Sometimes <laughs> humans too. If you're not sure what they're That's true. Sometimes if you're wearing a lab coat, <laughs> whoo! Don't try to shoot my butt, okay? <laughs> He's trying to murder me. <laughs> it's not the first time we've done it in this show. It's the first okay? time you've done it. <laughs> it is the first Do you know time what I love it. about that? Actually, it was insane. Now that we're talking about it not a lot, I just have to say this. During the last episode, when uh, you guys were debating about whether or not to save William, Ryan said the words, There's no scenario where I can imagine not saving him. Right? Like the most selfless, altruistic. He's like, We, we are duty, but we have to. You were we can't that not. Game right open. You're so ready. Yeah. In my defense. Yeah, go ahead. Let me hear it. Go ahead. Charlie freaked out. Yeah. Was like, Something's coming. Zombie, because he's tuned to zombies, True. and then this lab coat wearing thing comes. And I'm like, it's a hundred percent a mega zombie, and then it grabs a gun. And I'm like, no, shoot it, <laughs> zombie gun. That's terrible. Well, maybe it's a sentient zombie. I don't, we know. don't know. So I was like, I'm killing this thing. I think. I think we know now. And then it died, and I was like, oh. I think to be fair, if you were standing there and he was reaching for a gun, you probably would have shot too. Yeah, you know, and my bot. Although it was, I think it's hard for you to differentiate between you're a bot and you're a, you're a human when you're in your different uh, shape shifts that you go through. My bot's my boy. This is my favorite bot. If it dies, it is top bot. It's his topest bot. Yeah, <laughs> it's named in honor of Top Fan. So that's true. He basically. And that's about as good of a recap as we're we'll probably do this. Episode. <laughs> so let's jump right back in. <laughs> episode seven. Is this episode seven already? I believe so. One, two, four, five, six earlier. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Wow. Bam. Check us out. We are flying through this. <sighs> Indeed. So. so we're armored up. We're gunned up. How's we're, William doing, by the way? Like William has seen better days. <laughs> uh, he, uh, but gosh, he looks sharp in that armor. He's svelte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little bit looser on him than on you guys because he hasn't been eating uh, very well. Right, and we have been <laughs> feasting. Um, maybe I'll pull out like a, a energy bar or something. I'm sure I got some sort of something on me, right? Do you? Plutonium well, bar. Like a cliff bar from I guess we Mac? wouldn't. That's the thing. I, I, I never specifically said I did, so never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Here's the deal, so guys. So Ryan's still downstairs. You oh no, we all went downstairs. Downstairs. You're right. And there's Sorry. a mega bomb down there. Yeah, so there's a oh, you're, there's right. a there's some kind of explosive device in the center of this giant concrete like citadel underground. Right. And uh, um <clears throat> is this thing gonna blow? That's what all I wanna know. Is this thing gonna go? We'd have to prime it. So it's not set to blow no. at a certain time. I Are you sure? Not as far as I can tell. The I, display has three dots. Three that could mean anything. Dots. That's what I'm saying. Those dots could mean that it's it's so typing. I, it's I typing. Have, We're waiting for a message. Here's the terrifying thing, guys. <laughs> Tell me if I mess around with this, you could set it off. What if I accidentally set it off? Yeah. Well, yes, definitely. I don't think we should mess around with it. I was just thinking if, well, I'm thinking, if it's already set to blow or not. Here's what I'm thinking: is let's disable this thing. <laughs> you just said you can mess up <laughs> by tampering with it. Yeah, but if if somebody sets this off and we don't know about it, we're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And so if we turn it off so no one can do it, we're not dead. You should shoot it. Here's the thing. Smart. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Why don't... Just like Who said that? Take William. power out. Because <laughs> I know that it's like mechanically set to like feed things into the middle, right? That's a great question. I mean, like, power, that's, a, that's a part of how it works. Yeah. It's a complex machine. Uh, of course. Like, uh, yeah. like, there's no simple explanation that's going to say what I mean is if I like, like, turn power off, if I like, take the command module out, then nothing's going to like turn it on, potentially. Well, what you know is that the command Fish. module is an electronic panel that starts a mechanical process. Yeah. So, um, I'd have to be smart with presumably, um, you taking it off could um, trigger that mechanical process. Not only that, but somebody familiar with the operation of the machine might be able to start the mechanical process Anyways. without yeah. the control module. Here's the thing, Where's guys. Where's the power to it? 
That's what um, my question it's was. That, was the, you can't discern that. We don't know where the power is coming from, right? Investigation. No. Because it it's all lit up. There's, it's not crazy lit up there. There's, 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 like, there's a couple of lights, like, um, by the entrance to the stairwell, a couple over the bomb itself. But, like, the whole giant place isn't illuminated. Okay. So, it's not like the second, uh, basement one, rather, okay. where, like, all the lights were on. Here's the thing, guys. I feel like we should go look around in the upstairs area. <laughs> wow. I shit myself in the face with a pencil. We should look around in the upstairs because there was a bunch of doors that the bot could not go, the drone could not go through. Maybe there's still somebody alive in here who could tell us what their plan was. You know well, what I mean? Well, hopefully we don't shoot them by accident. Yeah. Shut it, guys. Well, but then here's the thing also. Like, I agree, yeah, yeah. In, this is kind of like, it works two ways. You know what I mean? Somebody could come, ex we could get them to explain to us what the plan was. Mm -hmm. If we find them, and they're alive, and they still want to set this off, then they would do so after we leave, presumably, when they get brave enough to come downstairs or whatever. If we find them, then we will be able to prevent that. You know what I mean? If that's still their plan, and they still are intent on doing that. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. While we're talking, we've got to try and find the power. Yeah, Ryan wanders away. I'm not I'm listening. Do, do your munitions one again. Great. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is that yeah. pass? Okay. So, um, the... 54. Oh. <clears throat> the power is coming from a battery that's hardwired into the machine, um, sort of behind the control module. The battery itself, though, is also hooked to an external power source. There's, like, cables running into, um, like, you know, like that metal piping that they run wires through? Yeah. There's, like, some of that, like, going to towards the stairwell. And oh. Then, like, and then it, like, hooks up into, like, the wall. Oh, weird. Somewhere. I'm gonna hop down into the subway tunnel. Isn't it right there? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm just shine my flashlight both ways. Take okay. a peek. Um, it's dark. Um, your flashlight has like limited um, range, I'm but I'm uh, sure it's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a light word. It's it's a limited effective range. Thank you. Um, and uh, but yeah, as far as you can tell, like it looks pretty empty down there. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's like any additional. Like stores of equipment or anything like that. Shane, do you, do you want to? Um, do you think anyone ran around the, down here? Maybe you could check. Continue, sorry. On, on the left side, though, there's like, like it looks like sort of, not like army barracks style, but it looks like sort of like temporary like bedding and stuff like that. Whoa. Let's grab. Really? Yeah. Let's grab that. We don't have very much good stuff. We, we just went to the neck and got sweet, some sweet sweet bags. You're right, you're right. We did. You're right. Never mind. Yep. Um, but. It's a good point. It's a good good call. I'm gonna try and look for signs of somebody going through here, um, or like escaping through here, or like just leaving through here, or you know, any signs. Yeah, of blood people. trails. Maybe who knows? Yeah. Maybe blood yeah. trails. Yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah, chem, no one maybe knows. Maybe even chemtrails. <laughs> chemtrails. Wow. What do you want me to roll? What's going on? Um, <laughs> I have tracking people. Yeah. Make make a tracking roll. Sure. Just get excited. Okay. Tracking. Do it. No, 78. No. Okay, there's no really specific information that you can get from like uh, looking around, but um, it's after like careful illumination of the space and like getting more familiar with like the way that it's set up, um, it looks like they were kind of set to bed down here. They didn't have, I mean, based sheerly on the number of bodies that you've seen today, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like they had um, enough cots and everything like for the bodies that they had, so they must have been sleeping in shifts. Oh. Um, there's about 25 mm -hmm. makeshift beds down here. Some of them are a little bit more uh, makeshift than others. Some of them are like straight up just like army cot looking things. Um, but yeah, and then there's like like a variety of sort of like personal items and things like that sort of strewn about the sleeping areas. Um, and they sort of like proceed down the, co the, the corridor, but when as you get go down um, further, uh, you can see with your flashlights that the corridor is actually blocked off. Like the whole giant subway thing is blocked off with a huge, and it doesn't look new, it doesn't look like the MSC even probably did it. Like, mm. like it's, the, the corridors were sealed, like the subway project, if and when it was abandoned, um, it was sealed up like properly so that like vagrants and, and sorts of things. No way out. Them. It doesn't, there doesn't appear to be a way out there, except there's like a, there's like a one of those like covered ladders with like the cage around it going up. So there's got to be some kind of sort of like access. Oh, um, really? On that side, um, the far side, there's not really anything over there. It just kind of extends into darkness, and then same sort of thing, sealed tunnel. Sealed up. Yeah. It's just a big vacant space. 
Should we climb up there and see where this exits to? I kind of want to do that, but I also agree with Ryan. Like, maybe we should disable this thing, but I don't... See, I don't want to risk it. That's the thing. If you mess it up real bad, like... Okay. That's the Lizzie. That's the end. We can hop in a truck and just take off to Saskatchewan. But what if I like you must trigger have. it right now? Like what if? Because this that. thing that's has. No, I agree. No, you're uh, saying you're you're saying we just leave now so that this is no longer an issue in our we, lives. It's an option. I'm just saying that's an option. Did they blow the bridges? They did, but we can yeah. still get across like the train bridge like we did right, before. We, the train. Yeah. Yeah. we could do that. Just peace. Start fresh somewhere new. I mean, like, how? What do we do once we disable it? We leave it here, you know, take as much demolitions as you can, and then what? Somebody, you, we know that they didn't all die here. For sure, somebody had escaped. I'm sure. I'm scientist. I mean, the scientist, yeah, he was if alive. If some random scientist no. escaped, someone else must have escaped. And he looked unscathed, I mean, and besides the sh- shot to the kidney, you know. I know, I don't that happen. It was, Who knows? Yeah. Freak accidents. Yeah, <laughs> kind of anything. <laughs> But None of us were there to see it. So, so what I'm saying is, though, is that somebody can come back and come back actually, down here. Technically, they don't even necessarily know what happened. Unless well, we were with him. Yeah. We were with him when he was like doing his power glove. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, this is how he fires. What's <laughs> <laughs> the bird? <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, they could have escaped up here. They could come back and set it off and blow it up, and we could be, we could be like, oh, we disabled it. My biggest question is, where the heck did they get? This from? That is not. Is there just thermite right right sitting That's... around in Calgary? Apparently. Where? Who knows, man? Good question. Ammunition shops carry it. Sorry? Ammunition shops carry it. For reals? Yep. Yeah. It's right. terrifying. No. Okay, so they didn't like. Cause Cause you, can, you can. What do they use it for? They use it for like um, explosive targets and stuff like that in shooting ranges, like in small quantities, and then you shoot it and it's, it makes like a nice big thing. I love nice things. So, <laughs> the amount that they have and stuff. Does this I mean like, like it's a lot? I mean, how prepared does this look? How prepared? Is it jury rigged or is it like? Is this like? Oh, we drove around Calgary and picked all the stuff. People, up. people knew what people who knew what they were doing built it very clearly. Like this is the complexity of this machine is like they had engineers. It, it wasn't like I'm people talking, that like found a book and like oh let's make a bomb. Like yeah. somebody, the people who who built this knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. However, uh, it's not manufactured quality. This isn't like NASA level stuff because yeah. they had to like build the thing out of components that they could find without having like a metal shop and like you know. Mm-hmm. What I mean? So so it's professionally constructed out of um, unprofessional materials. I mean, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Amounts. Like I'm saying, like, is this like, oh, we drove around Calgary, picked up all the thermite in Calgary, or is this like? We have six years worth of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say well, that. We don't know how I'm gonna say that would be unclear right? to you. Yeah. Okay. That's tricky. Like yeah. my yeah. The question I'm trying to ask is like, is this like, were they working on this before the bomb yeah. or before the outbreak? Yeah. Ninja. We, you wouldn't know. No way to know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Yeah. We wouldn't know. <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah, me too. I was like, Ninja. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is this, he's among our listeners. Just seeing. He's an avid listener. He loves this. Anything Calgary themed. Yeah. He's written in like three times. Can't get it off. <laughs> if he did fan. Politically, we can't write yeah. in. We can't talk about him. We should get fan. Too late. Too late. That's a weird Nenshi. Okay. Um, here's the deal. he is now. In game. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love his heart, but he's probably dead. Who knows? Maybe. We're in City Hall, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go to Mary's office. Let's go upstairs, actually. Good call. We should look yeah. upstairs. <laughs> Plus, we have that hard drive that we need to investigate. Maybe it'll have some information about the bomb. We need that back home. Not worried about that. That's what I mean. Yeah, we should, that's, we should Actually, go back and do that. But wait, we should look upstairs. <laughs> first. We should go upstairs first. We could. Yeah, yeah cause maybe it'll say something. You can also plug it back into the computer and look through. It, but hey, William, <laughs> find the IT on the <laughs> Hey, William, let's keep going. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think about zombies right now? He like. Every mission of zombies, his face kind of makes the same weird look. Like he still hasn't seen. He no, he hasn't. It's not clear to him that you guys are particularly sane at this point. What about all the dead bodies everywhere? Um, he hasn't seen all the dead bodies everywhere. He's seen he came upstairs, one he partial dead body. Outside, yeah, he helped us. Oh, yeah, that's true. So yeah, he's right, been, right. he's in been my head, all he's seen is he's seen the claws. He's um, seen a lot of badness. He's seen also some, he saw some stab all those dead bodies in the head. Yeah, oh, that's true. Did you do that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So he's a little on edge for showsies, um, but uh, as his liberators, you're at least in minimal control. I wouldn't mind trying to, yeah. 
here. Depends how they fell, I guess. Like sitting down with him for a second, maybe, and like just having a chat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we don't have time for this, really. Actually, no, not right now. Um, we there's a lot we have to talk about with him. There's some stuff that has gone down. As you can tell, we are downtown Calgary. I don't know if you knew this area very well. No. Well, I mean, this like, is the city hall. I've been here, but not in. City yeah, hall. and. Uh, the world is not as you left it three weeks ago. But, uh... We need to go upstairs and investigate a little bit further, and we can tell you everything that we've experienced so far. When we get home. Yeah. We'll Wait, get back to the one more question. <coughs> Timeline-wise, three weeks ago was... That's when we went into Suncor, basically. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, like, you've been in Suncor a month. So... A month. Yeah. So this is post the, Suncor. Yes. So I mean, between between season one and season two, remember we took like a month. Yeah. yeah fast yeah. forward. Yeah, it was like three weeks. A month. Yeah. South Calgary was on fire. South right. Calgary was previously on fire. That's correct. A month ago. And they went down to south. And um, yeah, potentially. What you know is he woke up in City Hall three weeks ago. Woke up. He said he was from the southeast. And that he was from the southeast. That's where he lived. Yeah, Got so it. We can talk. We talk to him. That could mean anything. Okay, cool. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, check okay. it out. Yeah, yeah, call him. Okay. Um, <sighs> William's pretty nervous, like, while you were talking to him, you could see him sort of, like, nervously, like, gnawing at the inside of his cheek. Oosh. You know? And, uh, yeah, but, uh, he's very clearly, like, following you guys. He's not, you know, he's not... He's getting his bearings still. He's, he hasn't made a decision about what you want to... Should we just leave him downstairs by the door and just keep an eye out, maybe? You want to come up with us. Alright. Alright, come up with us. We're just going to investigate a little bit more up here, and then we'll go back somewhere safe. He nods and follows on with Okay. Okay, I'll take point, and we're just going to go through door by door. Okay, he sort of waits at the stairwell, and you guys go door by door. No, he's not waiting by the stairwell. We need to bring him with us. You've got to tell him. Well, then you're coming with us. Okay. Just stay close. We never know what's out here right now. You saw what was outside. All right. It's messy. He kind of comes up, so he's like behind you. And as you go door by door, are you just kicking in doors, or how are you? Uh, I'm just gonna open each door and kind of swing it open with the uh, with the gun. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be you know beside him, ready. Yeah, ready yeah, yeah. In case something happens. Cool. So going down the the corridor of rooms, um, a lot of them are like pretty standard. Like they're all offices, right? Um, mm-hmm. A couple of them have sort of been converted into like storage areas for like food and ammunition and that sort of thing. Whenever we find um, ammunition, mm-hmm. we're gonna take it with us. We gonna okay. take it. Okay. Uh, the rest of it's in the in the truck right now, so yeah, we don't have like very much. Well, we, we had a bunch of guns and some ammo, and some armor, and then some ammo. Yeah, so I mean that should fit reasonably comfortably oh, yeah. in the bed of a truck. There's only four mm-hmm. guns. And totally just triple sets of armor. But specifically, I'm looking for magnum ammo. Okay. Yeah, and I want my oh, sniper sure. rifle. Yeah. So you um, you you come across what very clearly is what's left of the armory, um, keeping in mind that the MSC has been uh, has set up shop here like pretty consistently since uh, the outbreak um, began, and that they've been um, yeah they've been making short work of like eliminating zombies, not just mm-hmm. from the downtown core, yeah. but remember they're sending out strike teams oh into different gosh. areas, and uh, that wasn't a bulletless operation. So what's left of the armory like it's it's not tragically crazy. low. Like there's, it's 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 not handfuls of bullets, but like what's left, given like the type of manpower that they had, they didn't have an army because mm-hmm. they had a lot of people, or they had some people, but they didn't have the ammunition to support yeah. that kind of uh, operation for very long. Yeah. So bone class eight does. What say? Sorry, keep going. Oh. Bone class eight does is what I said. So you have um, one hundred percent. In in the armory, um, for five five six rounds, there's like another like a couple little, little like ammo cases like full of them, okay. which is a lot of ammo for three people. It's tons. So, so three cases. You want to yeah, three, three cases, and they've got like on those. they've got 150 rounds each. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Um, for seven six two rounds, there's not very many. But that's, that was Magnum, you said. That's, no, 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 that's that's five that's five, 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 five six. six. Okay. Assault rifle. Same, same assault. And then for the seven six two, which is your sniper rifle mm. rounds, yeah, um, there's a couple boxes of twenty, so there's forty more rounds. Okay. Um, there's like scattered pistol ammo and stuff like that, but as far as you can tell, they weren't really using it, and so it wasn't really collected or organized in any um, significant way. If you wanted to spend, you know, twenty to thirty minutes like sweeping the floor and like picking stuff up, then you can get some more pistol ammo. 
Um, no magnum ammo, no magnum rounds. No magnum ammo, that's um, fine. The interesting really find, fun. though, is they had an RPG <gasps> with two, uh, with two, like, rocket propeller grenades yes. for the thing. Yes. Oh, I want, I want holy that. crap. I want Definitely so taking it. So up. bad. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, two RPGs shotgun. with two one RPG. Well, two so RPGs. one launcher and two. I think the two ammo is called RPGs, right? Sure. I, don't I don't know how it works. They are rocket propelled grenades. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you find two rocket propelled grenades and one launcher. Uh, yeah. Any shotgun? No shotgun. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. they there's a bunch of other equipment and stuff for like loading ammo, but it's not stuff that you guys know how to use. Mm. Um, or or yeah. So. Okay. Uh, what, do, what else do we find as we go through? Uh, food, I guess. Is that how many days um, worth of rations yep. are there? Or there's, there's quite a few. So, um, yeah. given that there, there was, you know, ton of people. prior to today, there was at least, you know, between thirty and fifty people occupying this little outpost. Yeah. Um, yeah there's definitely um, for three people. Let's say there's thirty days rations. Yeah. Okay, that's great. How much should we get? Sorry. How much should we get from Mac? How much food did we, we write did write it? We did write it. Yeah, I think you wrote rations. There was two weeks. Sense. Two weeks of rations. Yeah. So we got like we got a month and a half. Four, four days for three people. You said for three people. Really good. Yeah. Not four though. Yeah, William. Eat him. Okay. All right. Let's go load it in the truck. As we keep no, as we keep going, we find anything else. We find people. Mayor's office. Um, you don't find any people. No, mayor's office mayor's. is like really clean actually. So it, it seems like probably like Nathaniel Hawthorne. That was probably like his. He probably took it command over and that was his command center. So it was it was kept as an office. It wasn't um, converted and it was pretty tidy, which means it was probably in use. Is there um, sorry, is there like a what looks like a computer that could be used? That's what I was gonna ask yep. you. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a computer on the desk. Absolutely. But, just like, desktop. Yeah, it's going to be Nenshi's computer. As well. It's a desktop as well? <laughs> Why are you so disappointed? <laughs> no, because it's Nenshi's, I don't care. No, it's, it's not have zombie it's stuff. Like... Zombie stuff. There'll be a folder on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> zombie, zombie stuff. stuff. It'll be like zombie three folders. Nenshi's. Nenshi's. Like Nenshi's. 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 Yeah, he was just a huge Walking Dead fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of screenshots. Like memes. I'm going to snap that hard drive as well. Okay. Zig, zig, zig. Cool. That's a quick grab. We've got that in five minutes. Okay. You know what you're about. No people in this whole place. That's crazy. None. None. Do we find anywhere that this key card would open? Not a key card, it's a key with an orange tag. Do we find anywhere the key with an orange tag would open? Um, not. All the doors are unlocked that we found. All the doors that you found were unlocked, um, and none of them, no. Is there anything that could be a drawer? It could be a dresser or something? Or like a little. Collaborants, right? Is there anything locked? Who had the, um, the lab? You'd have to go back downstairs and check. There was no check the There's lab. nothing that you tried to open that was locked. Like five have was good and stuff? Yep, yep, it was all. Nothing was locked. He would keep tapering from the office in here. Maybe it was to turn the switch yeah. for the activity stuff or something. Yeah, you totally like, planned it. I don't know, you opened it. Why wouldn't you? Right? So that's the key. Yep. It's not in the basement, surprisingly. That's weird. I don't know if sense. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Can I just, anything of worth in there? Um, you find like uh, two more cell phones. Yeah. Uh, there's back uh, up to fifteen. Ching. There's Loaded. three broken laptops and one working laptop. I'm just gonna grab the one working. Okay. Uh, what pieces do we find? You find a whole, like a slew of like outdated uh, equipment, so a lot of like wired keyboards and stuff that like are the older style. Um, Ooh, like, like non USB, but like have the, yeah, the circle Ooh, plugs. Yeah. Yeah, the circle ones, yeah. So you find like a bunch of like those and like mice with like roller balls in them. There's like there's like milk crates with like, like the IBM mechanical tech. ones because those are worth their weight in gold. Also, they're solid as a rock. That's also true. They're solid like, as gold, made of iron. You get high in them if the bomb goes off. It'll yeah. save us. Cool. Um, let's see. What's that? I heard that too. Zombies. Oh <laughs> Um, I don't know. Give me a couple of things that you'd be looking for, and I'll tell you whether or not they're there. Raspberry Pi, batteries. Batteries, blueberry pie, batteries uh, yes. Fruit so roll. there's like four or five laptop, Fruit let's pie. say five laptop batteries that look also, like they're not too Disposable old. batteries, too, would be good. Disposable batteries? Yeah. Um, there's, you find like two things of double A's just in like a, um, like an office supply cabinet. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, would there be any like Raspberry Pis? No. No, okay. I don't think it's that kind of IT office. 
like th this IT office isn't like a production site. It's more like a get your printer help working. help the politicians maintain their computers that have malware all over them. Kind of an IT office, you know. But I gotta support this king in Africa. <laughs> he needs my money. I definitely can go on any weird websites. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when the king of Nigeria comes, oh, from the office, anyways. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else. Should we just go? Okay. I'm not feeling very do, comfortable in here. I'm while we're here, I'm going to find a SATA cable. USB oh. to SATA. Oh, which one? A SATA? That's the plug-in to the hard drive. Cool. Yeah. I want that one. Okay, you find that. I know there would be one. There are, there are assorted cables in, in the IT office, if there's any other cables that, that you think would be useful. There's a box. That's, just, that's the one I need. Okay. All right. And while we're, while we're going, I'm going to start laptop in and check in the hard drives. Laptop in. The truck. Yeah, I can do it while we move. Okay, yeah. we'll so you guys go back outside and jump in the truck? Yeah, William with us. Did we check us. everything? Yeah, William with us. No, well, is there anything else? Did, we, this was a very quick check, also, quick sweep. Do we want to try and take out this bomb? bomb? Oh, man. Gosh, dang it, man. That's just sketchy like, stuff. I mean, you do have demolition skills. Here's the thing. If we're going to die, would we rather die... All together? All at once. All at once? <laughs> or really slow. No, what well, I'm thinking is like, the show now, I guess. What I'm You're thinking right. is, do we want to just be surprised and have like, boom, bomb went off, we all die, or do we want to like at least take a chance to try and save ourselves? You wake up in the morning, in the morning and you're dead. You're yeah. right, you wake up dead. <laughs> I just mean like, somebody could sneak in and set that thing off without us knowing. I know, and I know. If, if we so undo right. it... Leave your walker drone like, here for now. Chainsaw boy. And kill whoever comes with the chainsaw. <laughs> I could right make another there. turret. Ooh. Make Bring a turret it. that you can activate it as like a timed thing. We set the bomb off ourselves as we drive to Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. You're I mean, that was set on like a six hour time. That would be just so easy. Just like how good are you at disabling bombs? How many bombs have you disabled? That's I mean, I, I give it like a 62 out of 100. Out of 100? Kind of like, like, what's the name of that skill you have? Demolition Disposal. Oh. That's pretty good. What's, what's the other one? Munitions? Munitions Expert. Munitions expert. <laughs> Can you guys? <laughs> doesn't matter what his proficiency is. Doesn't expert. matter what the percentage is. Munitions. The skill expert. is expert. <laughs> Does that include demolitions? Uh, no, but I do have demolitions and uh, demolitions dis yeah. disposal. I keep reading dispel every time. Dispel. If you I can dispel, dispel demolitions. demolitions. <laughs> well, I have some Lysol wipes I'll just, here. Like, I have a circle of protection. Will I help? Demolitions. Pretty yeah. sure Char Charlie could just disarm it, but let's just. Yeah, um, Let's cast uh, Liaman's tiny hut, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then set it off. With set it off, and we'll be fine. This is Can we set like a permanent illusion around. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like that. Cast a visibility on. This is on not DC. Oh, why did I not take a level of wizard? You don't have demolitions, do you? Just demolitions. I do. Demolitions, demolitions, oh, do. disposal, and the skill to safely diffuse unexploded mines, bombs, explosive booby traps, dud artillery rounds, dud explosive charges, or any type, any other type of explosive device. Demolitions is 78. Oh my goodness gracious. That's so scary to me. My fear is this, uh, I'm going to be like, 99. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. And Brandon's like, all right, well, this is a great game. Thanks for playing, guys. I mean, the stakes uh, seem high. Tune in next time. They? they do. They seem weirdly high. I mean, it's like, the stakes Like, if are... it was like, if you had it at 90%, I'd still be like, I don't know if you should do it. I don't know if you should. Oh, that's what I would be like. That's I what I'm know. Like. That's I'm just insane. like the last I thing I want is just like you get like it went off. How about we just <laughs> like head to the edge of Calgary and you set it off? That's fine. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm volunteer. I volunteer. Like, honestly, I I would do that. But uh, what? So why? with his demolition, I want to try and get rid of this. Thing. Yeah, but you what if you blow it up and the... Evie and Top Dad and Top Mom are in the <laughs> city know, somewhere? Everybody, that's why the thing. Why did you have to say? That? Because I want to <laughs> help you realize the implications of it blowing up. <laughs> I recognize the implications of it blowing up, and what I'm saying is it could blow up. With or without why did you say that? <laughs> Leave the turret here and we'll keep an eye out. If someone starts snooping around, we gotta come, we rush over. So the trick is, I, only through my drone, it. like, which drone? I didn't know. The walker. The walker only has a three hours. That's his name. <laughs> he should be called Paul Walker. <laughs> like, once I turn it on, it's got three hours and I'm probably already used half hour. Just Paul. Just, just Paul. Paul. <laughs> Paul. That's it. No, I'll be confused with Paul shit. Oh, that's too good. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's true. You can't just plug him in. There's a power down here. This I don't have. This one doesn't have a plug-in. Well, charger. It doesn't have a USB charger. 
rig something. But for now, we should probably get back and think about things. This is what I think, too. I, I think we should works. make this plan from... Leave, your, leave Paul Walker for three hours down here, and then we'll go back. It doesn't say question for you, yeah, Mr. That's, DM. That's brand new. So here's the deal. This is a rechargeable electric battery that you can plug in to recharge. Right. Right? If I had it plugged in... Right. Could I have it operating while charging? I don't see why not. Done you do that all the time with my cell phone and my tablet. <laughs> and here's the trick, though, is... Yeah, but they're not drums. They're not wrong. Are they not drums? They're a type of drum, I guess. Yeah, what's a, what's a, what is a drum? A drum is someone who what makes scrolls a man on a Facebook man? for hours. My man? And doesn't do anything. Radio. Wait, ten, miles. Miles. ten miles. Whoa. <laughs> she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> so should I... I think it's great. Can you, do you have a charger? Do you have... Plug-in cable right now? Yeah, it's kind of, it's on it. You have a charger? Oh, I never have a charger. It's just it's yeah I'm, yeah. I'm plug it out. It's, it's not like right here, right, Brandon? Is it here? Is it right here? This app? Yes. See? Okay, I'm plugging it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Stolo blaster. You said no tennis. This, this, this still doesn't help. Well, for now at least we can keep surveillance on the bomb. But I'd have to be constantly looking at it. Yeah. We'll check it every two to five seconds. Is that hard for you? <laughs> well, that's seconds. what I mean. Is, is like somebody could sneak down here when I'm asleep. No, we gotta take shifts on that. Thing. Just stop sleeping. Oh right, great. Um, that's a good point. I can't do any work until we dispose. Well, of those just shifts. I'm talking like for the next three hours when we go home, regroup, look at the hard drive. We can have someone keeping. An eye I can't out. look at the hard drive while I'm looking. I, at have, the, okay. I have eyeballs in my brain. I'll keep an eye out on them. In your brain? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> like I. But let's go back to the house. I think it's I think it's a better idea than leaving it empty I have completely. One more question. Yes. I thought of another thing. I guarantee you, he's gonna have another one. So you <laughs> I mean, I do. I have a million questions. Just because he has one more now. There are have, huge uh, spotlights. One. Yes. In here. Yeah, in the in the courtyard up front. How hard would we to grab them? Uh, they're like trash can sized. Um, so the difficulty they're would be loading them size? into. Yeah, they're, they're big. Long, they're real big. They're improvised. They're not. They're not. They're made out of junk. Um, you could get one. Loading it up would be a little bit of a frustration, but you could definitely get one. Nah, this trash can says I don't want it. Okay. Too big. He wanted to put it on his drone. Yeah, I want to make a spotlight drone. Oh. So I can be like... Oh. It's like million lumen light. Have you seen those YouTube videos of that one guy? Yes, the like 40,000 watts. That's crazy, and he just like turns it on, and it's like daylight on the hillside he's pointing it at. like, holy crap. Have you seen that? No. This guy is really crazy. Oh, that sounds nice. Wait, Continue. we can watch it. Anyways, um, go ahead and stop listening to our podcast. See, that's the thing. Is, <laughs> here's the thing, guys. I feel like we are at a really weird point right now because I don't know what to do with this thing. Like, leaving it seems like such a bad idea, but I don't want to. Just shoot it. That's what I'm saying. For now, we leave an eye on it. Yeah, for now. Oh. And now then we'll, have William try to do we'll it. We'll get it after, for sure. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, what are we doing? William, <laughs> yeah. Stay down here. Take these pliers. <laughs> <laughs> Count to a million. Hit this button. Once you hit a million, cl clip that wire right there. <sighs> At 12 p.m. tonight, clip it. We I'm really curious. outside and now. My thinking if is... If you want to try and detonate it, you go for it. I mean, uh... Detonate it? No, no. <laughs> if you want to, like, look through the interface or something, I'm not necessarily opposed to that. Oh, the interface looks like absolute trash. That's that's fact. Yeah. yeah. You didn't have to make a roll to know that. Um, my fear is, I'm like, let's just cut power to it. But my fear is that they're like, blow up. What were they trying to do Actually, here? That doesn't that make sense. That seems so weird, doesn't it? If you ran out of power, it wouldn't be. I just want to go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Before I try and do this. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm, the longer you want to leave your drone here and keep an eye on it. Have your drone try to defuse it. <laughs> chainsaw. Chainsaw. With the chainsaw. Just cut right into the right. If you cut the bomb out of it, you just get cut the bomb right There's out. It's not it's all bomb. <laughs> it's four pickup truck size? It's real big. That's huge. Yeah. Are those command centers outside in working order? Um you can go check. I do that. Okay, as you step out into the daylight, you see a huge pillar of black smoke to the west. North it's P southwest. Where the zombies went. How far? Um, let's see. This is like Isn't our place to the west? Ish. 
No. So or that would be like we east. Yeah. Fourteen uh, blocks. Were you sure? We're just northeast of. Yeah, we're northeast of. We're northeast of City Hall. City Hall. Like it. You're yeah. like you're. We're, we're, we're east. in City Hall currently. No, no, no. Where's our, our place? I mean. Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're northwest. You're northwest of City Hall. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Our place is north. But no, is it farther so like, than our house? This is north what? up on the map. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. This is north here. Guys, I want to go this get our Oh yeah. And then yeah, 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 yeah. On the city hall thing. Here. thing? Um, I hate not this exactly. Game. I had it completely there's, back. There's, 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 there's no like end. It just keeps end, going. Yeah. yeah. Let's just set off this bomb. <laughs> What's the worst thing that happens? Um, yeah, our lives. Okay, wait. How is this smoky, smoky with smoke stack is beyond our apartment. Yeah. Our building, it's farther west than our buildings. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's go and I'll send thoughts and prayers over there. West. Okay. <laughs> let's run. Let's go. Okay, okay. We, we get jump in the. Hop in the cab. Jump in your truck. Come on, Will. Okay. You just Did we see any zombies? Dang, I wanted to check you out see, these commands. You uh, see the centers. same Wait. two shambling corpses really? chilling on the, the same two. as before. Okay. They're just hanging right out. This is so, weird, guys. Wait a minute. So we came from Suncor to here. And the smoke is where? West. In, in like according to this. 14 blocks this way. Okay, guys. And the zombies down. that were where? The zombies were up by our, on our street. Guys, let's hurry not back. in the same path. And, and we'll I can find out. pack, right? What what zombies are you talking about? The two zombies that are that passed us? Yeah, they're sort of just... Actually, they're, they're up just, in here. They're sort of just like, on the street. they have gone with the horde? It seems not. Well, yes. they're like super it's unresponsive weird, right? to even us. 14 yeah, blocks, you said, ish? Yeah, 11 to 14 blocks. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Let's rush back. Yeah. I can send over... I don't even need to send thoughts and prayers. I'll send over my helicopter. Dude, let's do it. Let's do it. We did. How is William reacting to what he sees once we're now in the street? And the zombies um, walking around, by the way. There's so, zombies okay, the so first of all, um, you get into the truck. Um, the site of all the dead um, MSC um, bodies doesn't oh. seem particularly jarring. Um, they were there when you guys were looting mm-hmm. sweet, sweet body armor and bullets. Oh, could I put on body armor? Um, it's it's yeah. you know it's not a it's not a comfortable sight for him, but given that these were his uh, tormentors, uh, he seems to be, uh, you know, he sort of justified this in his own head, so he's not really worried about the the gruesome nature of what he's looking at. Um, <clears throat> as you get in the car and drive down the street, um, you pass two you know sickly looking humans on the side of the road. As far as he's concerned, you know, he doesn't have any indication. That oh, there's anything not. supernatural or um, not nasty looking. I mean, they they are, but you're you're driving by in a car. You know, he's not. You know, you guys are looking for zombies. You've been looking for zombies for weeks, mm-hmm. right? He's not he's not in that mode. He's not in that mode at all. So what he sees and what he recognizes, there's a disconnect between what he's seeing and um, and what he believes he is looking at. This is what I right? as I'll, as I'm driving, I will slow down near one. Okay. So that he can get a better look at it, and I'll explain. I'll begin to explain to him. I'm not going to role play it out, but you remember the virus that had broken out. You know why the airport was shut down. He sort of froze his brow, like he doesn't, like he's not sure what you're talking about. William, what's the last thing you remember before you woke up in there? I was just, I was in my house. I was washing dishes. And then I was, and then I just, I don't know. I blacked out. I can't remember. You said three weeks. What's the latest date that you remember it being? Uh, it was like February 3rd. It's May. What? Look around you, man. There's no snow. Yeah, but it was a mild winter. I mean, I guess it's... I don't know. <laughs> it's literally the middle of spring, man. You're downtown. There's no grass. February 3rd? May. It's the middle of spring. Yeah. It's... What month is it? It's May... No, now it's... A, it's no, it's you're... Right. Yeah, we're yeah. Like June. You're in, like, it's June. Like June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's summertime, like, bro. It's June. Oh, by the way, Suncor Tower's gonna be hot. What do you mean? <sighs> it's so hot. February 3rd? I'm so confused. Are you sure? Maybe you were down there longer than you thought. I've been away for three weeks. That's what I know. How do you know that? Because I've been counting the days since they woke me up. Or since I woke up down there. How do you know it's dates? Well, I mean, like... Can you see the sun? No, but, I mean, like, the routine, you know, like, I, you know, I don't... I fall asleep, I wake up, I get meals, like, there's, you know... It's, yeah, they would have had The passage food. of time is... Okay. You know, just wondering. I can get a sense of Three weeks. how long a day is. William. I'm so confused. There was a viral outbreak, essentially. Uh... 
it spread rapidly. Nobody could control it. It got to Calgary. This is what it does to people as I'm driving by one of the zombies at point. We call them zombies. We don't know what else to call them. His eyes go wide. And, like, the shock of what he's seeing sort of sets in a little bit. Because, like, that's not a good-looking corpse walking around. You know all those sounds that you heard down there with you? I'm sure you heard sounds in that cage down there. They were similar to these things, maybe worse, yeah. down there. So you see his eyes, like, darting around, and he's sort of, like... You can tell that he's trying to make sense of what you're saying, but then he's also probably spent a certain amount of time, like, justifying these things away. Yeah. The, like, go ahead. I can replay video off my walker. You, you want to show it to him right now? If you want. I don't, I don't think we should do it right now. Okay. I don't, I don't, yeah. I, don't think well, was, I, I wanted him to show, I just wanted to show him that this is a real thing that is happening. No, I'm just saying if you're like. Maybe when he's at a point to, yeah, to view something like yeah. that, we should show him, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of all I explained to him as I, as we drive back in. Um, he takes a second to sort of settle with that information. He goes pretty quiet. Okay. I turn off the turret. Smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Garage door goes up. You guys come in, park the truck. Turn the turret. Yeah. Cool. We go upstairs. Okay. Do you do the back and forth with all the gear that you guys collected now, or do you leave it in the, in the Well, truck? we can you do guys one too. big take with the, with the, with the big, with the big elevator, right? Power's out. Roll for power. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we hadn't done that. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that in a few. So the power doesn't come on right now. It's been on. You don't know when it turned back on. You were in a building that had power this whole time. I'm making you roll now because now it's genius. Yeah. Now it's um, Love that. the genius of Brandon. He's a, he's okay, genius. so the uh, the elevator's on. Yep, yeah, totally functional. Easy peasy. Do you mind if I I'm gonna run up there and see what's happening? Up to the. I can run yeah, we're all going to go. Oh, you're just going to go upstairs? I'm just going to speed, speed yeah, it. Go for it, man. Go for it. Well, they're loading up. Well, we're you're all You're walking, right? Yeah. Okay. My hand ham? Hand ham. Hot hand ham? Hot hand ham. Hand ham. <laughs> Toast ham. Okay. Oh, I'm going to send, uh, I don't have a name for it yet, my helicopter. Okay. Um, so you just, like, fly it over there? Yeah. Okay. Hellboy. <laughs> um, so you're basically just kind of slow, sort of flying like towards the smoke, yeah? That's sort of your beacon that you're, the indicator that you're going by. Okay, so you're flying over like a good chunk of downtown. It's the west end of downtown that um, there's some kind of fires broken out. Um, and once you get over there, you can see that it's not, it's not like a localized, it's not like, oh, a building's on fire. It's like, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of fire downtown. Downtown. So. You know, there's like that Staples on 11th. That's up in flames. The Greyhound oh, Station. Yeah. That's up in oh, flames. Oh, oh there. Yeah. Um, Sentry box. Uh, yeah, Sentry box is over. You, you can't. Care. You can't see it from where you're at. <laughs> Not the know. box. It's a lot of boys. That's where we should rub next. <laughs> <laughs> well, smart. Well, well. Get the IRL. Was well, that chance to get, get William really into D and D? Get William really into D and D. All right, you nerds, pay attention. Sentry box is the best store. It's really good. Um, okay, so yeah, so like there's a good there's a good chunk of that that's on fire, and in the middle of all that is um, like the oh what's that building even called the armory the oh yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. military museum there no it's no, not no, a museum like a leap, like, yeah I don't know what you're talking about it's an active building it's on the uh, 10th street or something right I think it's 11th sure yeah oh I know yeah. I think, yeah I was thinking way further down. This is 11. So that building... Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, it's, you know... Oh, where's the map here? Is that on fire? Um, there's smoke coming out of it. It's not burning the same as all the rest of the place. Smoke protected smoke largely by the fact that it was... Um, that, that it's made out of brick. Concrete. So, um, so and, and in fact, the, the part of it that's on fire, like... Uh, isn't like the main structure of the building. There's sort of these outbuildings on the west side of it, mm. and uh, those are on fire. Oh my goodness! So, um, and yeah, and like trees and and like grass and stuff in the area is all sort of like scorched, smoky. scorched at this so point. Smoky, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So what what I say the um, Greyhound Station, the stables, and like a bunch of stuff sort of like around that, um, and you can see like. By the Greyhound Station, there's kind of like a large crater. crater. Like not, not you know, it's not, you know, crazy Maybe enormous. Fell down? No, it looks like something it looks like something, something blew Just up. Kidding. There's like some scorched earth there, and like um, you know, some debris and stuff that's like like evidence of an explosion. Whoa! Uh, Are there zombies? Are there people? 
Oh yes, well, I'm not even there. I'm not there even are there. so many zombies. Um, do you remember like how packed the streets were when you guys like went for your little Safeway around the other night? Yeah. Okay, so like all of those zombies are like racing around inside and outside of the the Greyhound station um, while it's on fire, which means a lot of the zombies have caught fire, which is like the the twisted, demented nature of what you're looking at. Like things just seem like they get more grotesque every day. It's like things are deteriorating, okay. falling apart, lighting on fire, and somehow these corpses still like have the strength and energy to like move around. Um, it's horrifying and and awe inspiring all at once. It's insane to look at. Um, you see at this point though that um, like the chaos that's ensuing in the group is like is way more pronounced than anything you guys have observed this far. So um, typically, what you've seen is like, in, in spite of the fact that they seem to be drawn to like living tissue, uh, they don't seem to have any interest in devouring each other or themselves. This is no longer necessarily the case because in at least four instances, like just scanning the, the monitor, um, you can see like three or four zombies like chewing on their own arms or like chasing other zombies. And it's like, Whoa. it's like something's degenerating in the, in the crowd. Um, additionally, um, it looks like um, some of them are feasting on what once were um, recently living, uh, uh, living bodies. And in the midst of all of this, you see one zombie that looks particularly familiar. Well, you see two zombies that look particularly familiar. First of all, it's easy enough to identify your boy Boneclaw. Oh, um, thank goodness. Who's just like tossing cars and like ripping stuff up and like, say, you know, moving but through I, other zombies. Lose my and then mind. you also see um, your, uh, your deli boy zombie from the Safeway. Uh, my boy. He's yeah. in there. He's, he's in there with his apron. He's easing up the spot with like the, the missing arm. Um, and he's yeah, like white he's wearing the white apron, so he's like bright spot in the form. Uh, he looks not great. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely not. I mean, the way that they've been regenerating isn't the same way that like human beings heal, and then you've got scar tissue and everything looks normal again. So he's definitely like better than he was when you saw him last. Oh, yeah. But uh, but like the the damage that he took has taken its like permanent toll on his appearance. So like his back is all like ripped up and scarred like crazy, and there's still like sort of gaping wounds um, from where he's been shot, which if you remember was quite a lot. You're up all you're up there all by yourself, Ryan. Do I bomb him? You're up there all by yourself, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, we ain't there. I'm not bombing him. I could. Not gonna. Um, freak me. Okay, um... That's so scary. So they're feasting on a couple dead bodies? I mean, it's hard to gauge exactly. They're, sort of, like, they're sort of like pooled in groups around... Mm-hmm. You can't really see what they're hovering over top of, but like, it's, you know, it's and, typical of what you'd expect to see if they had like stumbled on some survivors and then started ripping them up and eating them. And this building's on fire. The building's totally on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What? How did that happen? Something blew up. Well, we're taking oh, our stuff yeah. upstairs. Uh, oh, yeah, a crater. Is there Probably. any chance that I could, like, get a little bit closer to the crater and just see if I can, like... Totally, yeah. Try and ID something? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so, um... It looks like... Uh, or give me a perception check. He does have demolitions. Uh, no. No. Sit down there. Okay. Oh, I see. If I so like it's kind of hard to gauge seconds. for sure. Um, it looks like, in addition to whatever caused the initial explosion, like other there like parked vehicles that were sort of caught up what in that that added to it, and that probably helped the fire spread. But apart from that, you can't really tell. Cool. Hmm. Do we get up top with our? Yeah, stuff? Do we get everything up? Yeah. So Ryan's done like some pretty significant intel. You guys roll up uh, with like an elevator full of goodies. And as the elevator doors open, like you see uh, Ryan sort of like hovered over his screen with his eyes wide. We go look at it. And yeah. And I suppose William will also probably look at it now. He's following you guys. He can look. Sorry, man. I have a question for William after, but keep going. Do you think? That's, well, I'm just that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we probably just look at it in silence. I, I, don't, I probably would. I don't. There's nothing to do. I don't. We just have to hope that it doesn't come over this way. Agreed. Because if it does, I mean, no building is going to withstand that. That bomb under the 
City Hall is looking more appealing in a way. You know? The thing is... Is there a way to, like, reduce the size or, or take some... You know what I mean? Like, like I could drop some bombs on this crowd. I have two bombs on this thing. How many zombies are we talking about? But, um... Is it, like, numerous? It's hard to gauge. Can, can I count? roll like for it? Multiple hundred. Yeah, that's Can I roll for it? Hundred. To try to... To determine? Yeah, give me a perception check. Um, just perception? Yeah, just roll that. We got? 17. 17? Sure, that's exceptionally high. Yeah, so you'd say there's probably mm. between four and five hundred zombies. <gasps> Four around. and five hundred? They're swarming. That's they're, and they're running in and out of the That's buildings. That's what I mean. Like, like your bombs could do some, but nothing. My bombs but those, but that big nothing. boy bomb down there, now that could do some damage. So what I'm saying is, there's some it's way a to four foot radius. That's going to take out like yeah, nothing. seven, six. So here's the here's the thing I'm thinking. As far as we know, this is North America wide. Oh yeah, we knew that. Before. We knew that from. So we blow up Calgary and we go to Saskatchewan, <laughs> and we go into downtown Saskatchewan, and this is the same situation. He's right. I know. I know. Like it, we. It would be more like blow up Calgary and then try to somehow sur- move back in and survive. It's and like live in the crater of downtown Calgary. Yep, New Calgary. The trick is, <laughs> what if zombies come then, and yeah. we live in crater? That's true. I think the only real appeal of like blowing that thing up and then, like leaving and blowing that thing up is we don't have that to worry about that thing looming over us. I mean, I assume there's that thing, stuff like that doesn't exist in every city. Maybe there's, maybe they are. Maybe there are. Maybe, maybe there that's are. a Canada-wide government plan. Who knows? Maybe Take out the metropolises. Is. Maybe it's not it's Trudeau. Maybe it's Trudeau. Yeah, exactly. Straight to the top. <laughs> Straight to the top. <laughs> It's possible. I mean, like, who knows, man? That, man, I know. I just don't know really what our end goal is here, you know? It's tricky. Survive. But to win. That's what I mean, yeah. Like, we also, like, day by day is all we can do at this point. We can't even make plans. Cause We're also three dudes. So it's like, true, there are no females here. What's the end goal here? I mean, we have run into a total of two females. Well, since yeah, this whole thing four dudes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, William. Hey, uh... Yeah. William, what, what what, do you do for a living? What did you do for a living before this nonsense? Uh, How old is he? I'm an accountant. Mid-30s. Thirty five. Exactly mid-30s. Exactly mid. 35. <laughs> it's actually... A year. I mean, where'd you work? months away from his birthday. Sorry? Where'd you work? Uh, one of the big four. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know what that means. Is this some sort of, uh... Don't worry, Ryan knows. The big buildings downtown or something? No, there's like four... Um, big accounting There's firms. four big accounting firms in the city. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's Which cool. one? No, I'm just kidding. First, you know, <laughs> he says the name of the one that he works at. Dang it. You got me. <laughs> um, like, do you know what it's just... Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Small world. I, um, I graduated with that. That's no, crazy. Amazing. Has this ever happened to you before where you've... Lost you know, three lost months? five months. Not not necessarily. Or this, I guess but, four months. You know, narcoleptic or something, or you he shakes just his head. Woken up and never before, eh? No. And you just were cooking dinner, and you just woke up in a jail cell. Yeah. Is, is there like is an there? insight check? <laughs> do you, do you uh, like? Is there a thing? Yeah, that is there a way that can check if he's lying? Is it an MA roll or something? Yeah, that's a thing. I want to do, do that, but I mean. I was, really want to do that. Definitely Ryan's idea. But I would love that's the too. weirdest. Guys. There are, I have noticed that there's not very many social skills in there. But there is creative writing. So. <laughs> they do have animal husbandry so. <laughs> and herding. And I got Freaking those. <laughs> those two cannot be combined into one. <laughs> they are specific. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why hurting is not part of physics on here too. I think. Yeah, I know. There's some crazy stuff, guys. That bomb what was it? Astrophysics. That's in there too. Honestly, artificial intelligence is one. But before the drill master, I'm like, what? In case you want to take a sci-fi turn on here. Yep. Yeah. Zombie no. no. apocalypse. Maybe. I don't think Build knowing. I don't think knowing AI would help you in like a futuristic world. <laughs> knowing how to make an AI. Build an AI? Yeah, I know. If it's an AI, though, it thinks on its own almost. Yeah. I think it's a lesser degree. We should read the skill. It'll probably explain it. I read it, I remember. But... 
Um, it's so easy like, a lot of programming. It doesn't really... There's not really an equivalent of what you're talking about that I, that I know of. I just want to know if he's... If, if he's full of crap. Yeah. Because sometimes seem like he's you can crap? tell, you know? In real life. I mean, he's got a little look about him. He doesn't have that look about him. I mean, I'm pretty tell. smart. Okay. I don't know what that does. That's true. It could be a mix of intelligence and mental affinity or something. Honestly, because you... Yeah. Well, because, like, MA is, like, if you're trying to make someone trust you, or, or yeah, if, if you're trying to intimidate them, then yeah. you would make a check on your MA. Wisdom. Or if you're trying to impress them or charm them, then that's to check on your PB. But, like, Ooh. if you're trying to see what Ooh. they are, like, I'll, I can think of, like, perception, I guess. Roll perception. I'll do it. That's the only thing I know. Can we all do this. it? Yeah. Can we, okay. we can do all do it. do that. 17. He's full of crap. 11. 18. Just 18. kidding. Oh. He seems totally sincere. Uh, as uh, He seems pretty convinced that what he's telling you is true. Let's, the well, let's go to his house. Maybe. Both the kidneys. If you do it right, you can use one bullet to shoot him both the yes. Guys, stop. Wait, I, I mean, Brandon. You're not William, gonna... this is... I don't know. I mean... Don't get weird about this, but like... <laughs> but let's kill Can him. I... He can't hear you. Okay. I'm examine you for, like, marks of, you know, marks of some sort of, I don't know, what they might have done to you, injected you, experimented on you sure. with. I mean, if you feel like that's necessary, yeah. I mean, we have no idea what, uh, so, what the situation is or why they were holding you down there. Okay, it's true. I mean, like, if, yeah, okay, I'm not really in a position to refuse, he kind of shrugs his shoulders. You're right. <laughs> I would say his drone turns and points the gun at him. <laughs> the chainsaw. Just kidding. <laughs> I, can, I can give you the chainsaw down. Yeah. Like, I don't, we don't all need to be seated, sitting here staring at him. It starts just rubbing. Okay, maybe just your shirt for now. I mean, I don't <laughs> Take it all off. <laughs> yeah, I got my video you. recording. All right, um, can, I, can I examine him? <laughs> I'm going to... Wow. Hard drive? Examine away, yeah. What, what are you looking for? What are you looking at? Do you want to do this robe? Uh, yeah, I mean, he can put his underwear on, like, I don't know. Uh, he's only in, like, rags. You he's check his ro- his, his clothes aren't in good shape now, but, like, he's, he's check got, it, like, all shit on. Check it all shit. We should go take him to a bath, a washroom to get shower up the sip, too, probably. Yeah, well, we should do that. But I was first of all, maybe do that first, thing. actually. Yeah, normal infection, I'm worried about. <laughs> Let alone zombie infection can we keep with this guy. Can this one? Can you what? Is there showers? Oh, yeah. Um, We're in the VIP section, remember? There's no showers on this floor. There are bathrooms. Uh, the water inexplicably is still running. Okay. Um, and you have plenty of you have plenty of hand soap. Yeah. So if you want to do like one of these over the sink, like there's a <laughs> that's, that's what we've been doing for a month. I mean, that's what you gotta do. It's, it's All right. Urban survival at this point, you know. So it's, we are urban survival. This is urban decay. There's a is there a, there's a gym downstairs. Is there a shower in that gym? Almost yeah, certainly. Yeah, I've been, been using it. What have you guys been using? No, I'm just I wanted to check. One. Yeah, there, the there is. A, yeah, that's true. That's that's true. Okay, really well let's let's let yeah. William shower and clean himself up first. I mean, we don't have to go through this minute by, minute by minute, but like, okay. and then uh, so after like, he's watch him shower. Yeah, totally watch him. Normal. Totally normal. What does he wash first? Let's talk about that. <laughs> oh, his knees. I like that <laughs> strategy. <laughs> Good strategy. Anyone who washes their knees first in the shower. That's what do you, what do you, where do you guys where do you guys go first when you shower? Just uh, you know, I usually do my hair first. Your chest. Okay. Yeah, you I do my hair, hair first, but I mean, like, body. I go neck, ladder, and chest. I go top to bottom. Yeah, I do chest, too, because I, I, I go like this, and then from there, I, I, I spread it out. Okay, this is the worst. Then I wash, kind of <laughs> I wash every one of my six yeah, times. Yeah, I think that's pretty standard. This is like, here wash every one of my six to times. here. Does William okay. do that? Yeah. Does he shower like Ryan? Look, yeah, he okay, showers cool. exactly like Ryan. It's uncanny, actually. This is regular Ryan. And concerns both you and Ryan. I'm like, Red Sauce William? <laughs> okay, um, then I want to kind of look him over, you know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> it's, oh. this is the worst, um, but you know, just like look for any signs of scars, you know, like medical scars yeah, um, you get this. or so you get this. injections or this things like that. Now. So, so first of all, like he's got tracks up and down his arm. Um, they were drying blood from him oh. for much longer than three weeks. That's how long he's been awake for, but he's got like, yeah. Um, so, you know, they, they pull from one spot in the veins, like, over and over again until, like, kind of closed up and then they move on down the row. So, um, like, he's, you know, he's undergone some, some stuff with needles for sure. Um, I'm not saying he's a drug addict, I'm just saying that, That was my question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, there's nothing that specifically indicates that. Um. It's toast. 
the the interesting thing though is that like once he's got his shirt off and his pants off, like he does have a lot of scars, like for like a normal looking dude, uh, especially for a normal looking accountant. Uh, he didn't say anything about being specifically engaged in like any athletics or uh, you know extreme sports or anything like that. And he's got like a lot of scarring on like his arms and on his leg, particularly on his right side. Um, mm. It's uh, but you know. Maybe you just had a weird childhood or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I want to ask him. About which? The scars. Like, hey, did you have these when you were cooking in your kitchen? So, no, these are new. I don't know what these are from. <laughs> were those there? I mean, do you are, were you conscious for whatever they did to give you those scars? I mean, he looks at his arm. He's like, well, I mean, like, I was conscious for a lot of this. The rest of it, though. The tracks. Like the yeah. needle bolts. Yeah. The rest of it, though. No. <sighs> Do they look like burnt or like cuts or like slashes or scrapes? Are they skin Um, bags? It's hard to tell because they're actually healed pretty well. They're just like, um, it's just scar tissue. Are it's they like, like patches it's, gone? Is yeah. It, it's it like, gone? it's not like a line. It's not like, it's not like sutured like, oh, I had a cut there and then it got sewn up. It's like, it's it like gnarly scar tissue. Is it like grafted skin or is it taken off skin? Um, maybe a little column A, a little column B. That's terrifying. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Terrifying. Okay, continue. He could have zombie patch skin on his body, but we won't know that until next episode, everybody. Shut your freaking <laughs> <Bible. laughs> Well, thanks everybody for listening to Urban Decay Podcast. This has been one of the gooders. Oh. Episode 7. We live it. We live it. We love it. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, Urban Decay RPG, if you haven't heard by now. I mean, I've said this so many times over the years that we've been playing this game. Also, we have a podcast, uh, I mean, uh, an email that you can email at us. Email us at... <laughs> email at us. You can email at us at a podcast at us. email at me. Anyways, it's uh, Urban Decay Podcast at Hotmail.com. We'd email at us hear from you. while we podcast at you. Yeah, that's right. That's our tagline. Thank you for reinforcing it, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys so much. We'll see you in episode 8. Peace.